Would anybody like to ask a question? <laughs> you can also just silently sit here. And be in touch with truth. Actually, silence is the best way. But if there are doubts in the mind, it makes sense to talk about. But it seems so many people here and nobody has any problems <laughs> to talk about. <laughs> You you mentioned about bringing awareness to the self. Yes. To feel natural. Yes. But we can do vice versa, can we? Like bring out the self, the feeling to the outer world. There but is no outer world. For I the know, self. but still we <laughs> do feel that barrier. But somehow we can bring that feeling towards the outer world. Yes, of course. If if you are really rooted in that, then that sense of being separate disappears. And then when that same sense of being separate disappears, then naturally you will perceive everything as the expression of that. It's not then an act of volition that you have to do to somehow bring something from inside outside. It's happening just spontaneously, naturally. <coughs> Yes? How do we know when we're being natural? Let's say it, we're so affected by other things that we would we struggle to recognize it? When you feel at ease, at peace, then at least you go in the good direction. You can use that as the touchstone. When you, when you feel at ease, at peace, then you are bringing the attention back to that, getting closer. So the more peaceful you feel, the more naturally relaxed you feel. The more you are in touch with, in harmony with that. <coughs> that doesn't mean you cannot be active. And sometimes it's a bit woo, 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 so, so, then let it be so. The more you are really rooted in that, the more you become aware there is that silent aspect in you that is not affected by no matter what is happening. And if you, your attention is completely pulled out by the situation, then when you become aware, then just find a way to turn 180 degrees around. <laughs> Bring it back home and relax. That job somehow we are, we cannot avoid. It's not that we have to do a heavy, heavy job, a heavy, heavy work to somehow eventually break through something. But that little effort of reminding ourselves to be attentive and see what's going on, see where the attention is, see how we are scattered all over the place, <laughs> how we are often contradictory, simultaneously wanting going to go left and right, simultaneously, I want some things I don't want, I want all that mental stuff that is happening, that we have to somehow learn to put the attention there and see what's going on and then learn to redirect the attention. That effort we cannot avoid. It's not a heavy, heavy effort, it's a little push that we have to give again and again and again until it really becomes natural. <laughs> you want to say something? That when you become natural, yes. you can even be active. Yes. But for me, I mean, if I become very active, mm -hmm. at the end there is some point that I grasp myself. Yeah. So, 
Of course, it will happen. Out of old habit, how we have been functioning, mindlessly being all over the place, except here and now. <laughs> the habit is so strong that after that, even when we decide now I want to change that, the habit will push you again and again into the old way of functioning. It helps very much if you have every day some time where you are doing nothing else. Every day some time where you are not busy. Every day some time where you can put your undivided attention simply in one way or another in being here now, conscious of the life. How you are doing it, it doesn't matter. Whatever way is the most easy, the most natural for you, you use that as help. You bring your attention back. And then bring that same attitude, as good as possible, in your activities. You can start your day with the intent that you want to remember. Because as long as we don't remember, nothing can be done. <laughs> but then when the memory comes and we become aware, oh, yo, look uh, how much time I have been here, everywhere, simply not being conscious, consciously conscious, simply not being consciously here. And then you just bring it back. Don't make a fuss, don't, don't you give yourself lectures and say, oh, in spite of all the time that you have to, <laughs> no point, there you go with it. Simply the moment you become aware, at, in the midst of the action, in the midst of the sentence, in the midst of whatever is happening, just turn the attention to the present, in one way or another and learn to relax. Maybe you stay only a few seconds, but these few seconds are very precious. <laughs> and if you do that again, and again, and again, then gradually this accumulates its own power, its own momentum, and eventually it will become stronger than the old habit that pulls you out again. So you said when you are active then Sooner or later there comes the point where you forget about it. But if you start the day intending to remember, then sooner or later the memory comes. And if you consequently, whenever you remember, immediately you do that. You just, you don't say, okay, first I finish this and then after that I try. <laughs> if you do that, then you forget again. You never do. The moment you remember at that moment to <coughs> somehow bring the attention back to relax. If you do that consequently, that memory comes more and more. And gradually, you may also stay quite some period effortlessly in conscious touch with that. Then I'm sure it will also happen for all those who try. It will start to happen sooner or later. You have moments out of the blue, you don't know how and why. Suddenly you find yourself at ease, at peace. <laughs> you didn't do it, you didn't make any effort. You wonder why you are not functioning all the time like this. <laughs> And then the mind starts again. <laughs> there we go again. <laughs> and then we think, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? <laughs> it was there, so sweet, so easy, so natural. <laughs> Didn't do anything wrong. It's just the old habit is still too strong. It will pull you out again. So don't torture yourself and think, don't try to figure out what exactly has happened before this happened mm -hmm. and, then, and then try to reproduce it. It has nothing to do with whatever happens. <laughs> but as long as it's not there, effortlessly or by itself, we have to make that little effort of 
bringing the attention to the situation and see what's happening and then redirect the attention. There is a lot of talk in the modern Advaitic teaching, it should be effortless, you should not make effort. If you make effort, then you cannot get the truth because the truth is effortless. <laughs> True, but... <laughs> we make such a tremendous, incessant effort to create all our troubles all the time. <laughs> <laughs> simply to keep up all that view of the world with all the conditionings, with all the contradictions, with all the tensions that we are creating, it's not something that is simply there, it's something that we are reproducing all the time out of habit and we are spending a tremendous effort to do so. And as long as we are doing that effort, we don't get around the effort to, to recognize it, to make the effort to have a good look, a good honest look at ourselves and see what's happening. And then somehow gradually learn not to do that anymore. It helps if we have a tool, something that helps us or a technique. It's not that we have to learn a technique and then train ourselves in that technique and become better in that technique and then finally become an adept in that technique. Simply, it's not so easy when we are all restless, when we are full of tension, to abstractly just to drop it and simply be. It's easier to redirect the attention to something, something like the question, who am I? <laughs> something like the question, who is thinking? It's not the question that we ask and ask and brood about and eventually we get the answer. Click, ah, now I got it. There's no answer to that question. You are the answer. <laughs> The question is just a means of catching the attention and bringing it back home. And then relax and be. That's one way. Everyone can find their own way. A very simple way is also <coughs> simply redirect the attention to the briefing. You are in our mind and it goes round and then just bring the attention to that simple fact that is happening anyhow the whole day long. Consciously breathe in, breathe out, relax. And you are right there. You are at the same point where you are getting when you are doing self-inquiry. So don't get worried if you find yourself again after some time, all over, just don't give up. <laughs> there may be periods where we have to feel, ah, really, there are some steps, <laughs> something is happening, so really, it's getting easier, and then may, there may be periods again, Everything, oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> in spite of all that, that I'm going again. I feel like I'm going backwards again. You're never going backwards. <laughs> but sometimes you may go through periods where the mind is more restless out of so many reasons. Just don't get depressed because of it. Don't throw conclusions. Just Continue. And it will get easier again.